Mom notices girl who looks just like her, learns she's her daughter that was mixed up at birth. A mother had a weird experience after seeing her daughter's playmate, who had a strong similarity to her family. This discovery led to several shocking revelations, including the fact that the two kids were swapped at birth. Melissa Fodera and Katerina Alagna are two young women raised in an unfortunate circumstance. The girls have been switched at birth, but a second swap brought them together again. The girls were born in the same hospital, and on the day they were to be returned to their families as newborns, a mix-up occurred, resulting in the two having the same surname. The birth swap. Melissa Fodera and Katerina Alagna were born 15 minutes apart in a hospital in the fishing port of Mazara de Vallo. The pair were born on New Year's Eve in 1998, although there were some discrepancies, likely due to their birth similarities. Despite the fact that both mothers had noticed and alerted the nurses to the discrepancy in attire, it was dismissed as a simple mistake in outfits. However, this blunder extended beyond infant clothes. Marinella Alagna adopted Melissa Fodera and nurtured her as her own child. Inadvertently, Gisela Fodera became Katerina Alagna's mother. The bizarre switch went unnoticed, and the two families went about their daily lives. This was to change three years later when Marinella observed anything out of the norm. Marinella and Gisela had enrolled their girls in the same daycare center, and it was there that she met Katerina. On that fateful day, the Sicilian mother was on her way to the nursery to pick up Melissa when she noticed Katerina. Her attention was drawn to Katerina's likeness to her other daughters in an instant. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be inspired by these real-life stories on a daily basis. Now, let's return to the story. How the Swap Was Found Following her revelation, Marinella searched for the woman who was supposed to be Katerina's mother. When she met Gisela, she told her what she had noticed, and the two realized that there was only one way to find out. Katerina also recognized Gisela from their time together in the maternity unit, which raised her worries. After 15 days, these suspicions were validated, and it was determined that the girls had been switched at birth. The news shattered both families, causing some issues at first. Both families were also averse to switching the daughters yet again, Fodera described the difficulty. I defy anyone to raise a kid for three years and then abandon her simply because of an error. How the drama was resolved by both families. It was unthinkable that Katerina and Melissa would be abruptly ripped from the lives they had become so accustomed to, so it was up to the adults to settle the switch problem without incident. The Forderas and Alagnas achieved this agreement by spending more time together, and the girls became playmates as a result. The families also moved in together to promote the beautiful friendship that had been created. Katerina and Melissa became inseparable as they grew older. This also resulted in their parents becoming one happy family. Their daughters spend weekends and holidays together, and birthdays are never forgotten. Katerina, who is now 23, describes the situation as follows. We are an anomaly. There are eight grandparents, two fathers, and two mothers in our family. Katerina and Melissa were friends until college, according to Mori Capriccio, the author of Sisters Forever, a book based on the girls' lives. Capriccio went on to say that the two were regarded as twins who did everything together as children. Melissa revealed that when she and Katerina were eight years old, they were told the narrative of their birth and swap. However, because they did not have those memories, it didn't appear to influence them. She revealed, It seemed like a game, and neither of us remembers anything before the age of three. Marinella was and still is my second mother when I was growing up. Where are they now? Gisela was open about how difficult it was for her to make the switch. She admitted that she didn't connect with Melissa at first. This was due to the 46-year feelings of betrayal toward Katerina. However, the link developed with time, and Gisela indicated that genuine mother-daughter feelings exist in the present. She mentioned, At first, loving Melissa, my biological daughter, felt like betraying the daughter I raised. But Melissa and I truly feel like mother and daughter now. Staying together until a more natural exchange occurred was even less beneficial. After the girls were acquainted with one another, experts advised that they be separated for six months to acclimate to their biological family. The families were able to accomplish this for three months but could not continue to stay apart. They eventually got around the exchange and determined the girls could keep the names they had after the initial swap. According to Capriccio, the Federas and Alagnas became one large happy family with their girls growing up with four parents, eight grandparents, and many siblings.
He stated, The girls grow up with four parents and eight grandparents, and the experiment was successful. They're now more like twins than sisters, and there's a bond between the two families. While the families elected to preserve the daughters' first names, they had to exchange their surnames. Rai TV has recently released a documentary based on the extraordinary story of Melissa and Katerina's birth swap. The Federas and Alagnas realized that they were living a lie the moment they discovered their daughters had been switched at birth. However, they made an immediate effort to resolve the issue and raise the daughters, knowing that only love could solve the problem. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone else who might enjoy it as well. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.